Hey guys, how's it going? Craig here from uh, VKTetra.com. Just wanted to do a, a video just as an overview just to demonstrate how the VK Tetra amateur radio network is uh, working here. Uh, so I've got a couple of things on the desk here. Of course, I've got um, a Tetra radio here. This is a uh, SRG3900 amongst um, other things here at the moment, including um, VHF gear. That's um, a gateway for a, a repeater. Um, DMR and um, another P25 radio up here. And I got a P25 um, XTS 5000 there. I've also got a bunch of um, Tetra radios here, Tetra portables, the CP400, which is essentially a uh, MTP850, just without the keypad. Um, I've got um, an MTH800 there. I've got an MTH800 on charge there as well, um, as well as um, a STP9000 and a SRH3000. Um, uh, uh, 3500. Now, um, this is the VK Tetra uh, dashboard. Now, to get to this, you just go to dashboard.vktetra.com or just go to vktetra.com and follow the links to the dashboard on the homepage. Now, this dashboard will show you uh, who is currently talking and who's currently linked to the network as well. So, all of these in green down here are currently linked to the network at the moment. So, anything ending in dash L is a, a node on the network. So VK2CJC-L is um, my node on the network here. So that's a gateway radio that I run in the other room. Um, it has a, a Pi connected to it, the Raspberry Pi. And uh, when I key up on any of these radios in front of me here, or that radio there, um, I'm essentially, that, that will be picked up by my gateway radio in the other room, and I can talk across the network. Uh, you can see some other things there as well, such as P25 link, um, now that's actually a link between the P25 network, so you can use a radio such as this, the um, XTS uh, 5000, which is P25, or you can use one of these as well, which is um, a uh, XTL 5000. I've got an XTL 2500 VHF here as well to actually talk on the P on the uh, on the Tetra network from P25, and that's linked to Talk Group 10444. Um, on the P25 side, which is a, uh, a P25 reflector that I run. Um, and you can see the dashboard of that by going to vk64.jiffers.com, or you can just click the link. Oh, someone's just sent me a message on Tetra. Um, you can just click the link here to open up the dashboard for that. So you can see some other things here as well, such as DL Master, uh, UK Master, F Master, etc. What they are, they're other reflectors. So I run the 505 reflector for VK, uh, including not just the 505 talk group, but all these other talk groups as well, including 505, 5051, etc., and the non um, Tetra talk groups. So 505, 901, which is linked to that P25 bridge of 10444. And you can see the other talk groups there that are um, connected to those other masters. If they're lit up in orange, it means they've been active today. The other things you can see on the dashboard are the current calls. So anything in blue is from the VK Tetra network. You can see that I've um, called up there. And the gateway that I used, the talk group that I talked on, um, and the ISI of, uh, of the portable that I used. Think of the ISI as similar to a DMR ID. It doesn't always match, but most of the time it does. Um, the ones in orange are from Echolink, so you can actually uh, link into Echolink from this system as well. All the details are on vktetra.com. And P25, as I said, in green there. So if you key up on P25, that'll show up on the dashboard in green. So let's give you an example of exactly how this works. Um, so if uh, if I want to key up and uh, and talk from P25 to Tetra, all I need to do is key up on the, uh, the P25 radio here. So I'll just do that a second. VK2 CJC is testing. And you can see on the dashboard there that uh, talk group 505901P25 is currently talking at the moment. Um, and that audio is also coming out of my Tetra radios over here. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. There you go. So you can hear the audio coming out of the test one, two, one, two. Test one, two, one, two. And I'll just de key. So you can see the audio actually coming out of the Tetra radios there. And now it's disappeared because I finished talking. And of course, if I want to reply, I can pick up one of these or I can talk on that Tetra radio there. Um, Let's use this MTH800 here, so I'll just key back up. VK2 CTC testing.
One, two, one, two. And uh, there you go, a little bit of feedback, of course, but that was the audio coming out of the P25 radio there as well. I'll just do that again. Test one, two. There you go, you can hear that coming out of the P25. Um, what you'll also see when I key up on the dashboard, VK2 CJC testing. You can see my uh, Tetra link lighting up there, VK2, dash, uh, VK2 CJC dash L lighting up red. I'm um, just saying that uh, I was transmitting on Talk Route 505 and 901. And if we look at the dashboard, you can see the details here. So I keyed up a couple of times on the portable. You can see that on the dashboard and as well as on the P25 radio there as well on the same talk group. Of course, you can also change talk groups as well. Now I've programmed in some short keys on here, but to do it the long way, you go into menu, messages, go down to uh, send status, uh, pick one of these. So I'm gonna go across to the um, VK505 main talk group here. So just gonna select it and hit select. I'm gonna send that as a group call to the frequency that my gateway is listening on. There we go, we get an audio confirmation that we've changed across to 505. Now, when I, when I uh, key the radio up, you'll see on the dashboard here that I'm now talking on 505. Uh, VK2 CJC calling on 505, test one, two. There we go, and if anyone is listening on 505, they'll uh, respond and be able to hear me. So simple as that to change talk groups. I have also programmed in some short keys here as well. So for instance, um, if I want to change across to my P25 talk group, I've actually programmed in the ability just to hold down key number three and that'll send an SDS message. Talk group five, zero, five, nine, one. Uh, so that actually can changes me over to um, VK TAC1, which is uh, one of the TAC, uh, one of the talk around channels. Um, I believe if I hold call uh, button number four, no, that's unassigned. Let's try button number two. There you go, that's the P25 talk group. Talk group five, zero, five, nine, zero, one. There you go, so I've just changed across to the P25 talk group, and if I key up again, you'll see it come up on the screen there, P25. And it's also coming up the P25 radio there too. And of course, it's horrible echoing because um, I've got so many radios uh, set close to each other. Anyways, hopefully that answers some questions for you. Uh, now, if you're interested in getting involved and getting onto the network, there's two ways of doing that. The first one is you can build um, your own gateway. So there's a handy link here at the top of the web page there, build your own gateway. If you click that, that will take you to a new page. It goes through exactly how to build your own gateway, the bits and pieces that you'll need. There's a photo of my gateway in the other room there, including the uh, the MTM800E, the radio, the Pi, a signal link for the sound card, and obviously the power supply as well, and an antenna, which isn't shown. But this guide will show you exactly what you need to build a gateway to get onto the system so that you can talk. Now, the other thing you can do too, is if you live close by to someone else that has a gateway, um, you can actually check that by going to uh, Tetra System, and go to uh, VK Tetra map. And this will show you all the current gateways that are available today. So there's a couple in Sydney, and there's actually one coming up in, uh, in Hobart as well. Um, you can click into the details there, or you can go to gateways at the top, and you can view the details up here. So if I show you my gateway here in Sydney today, so this shows you all the, all the gateway information for VK2 CJC L including a, um, a map that shows you the kind of coverage that you can expect for if you're using a portable radio or if you're using a 10 watt mobile radio. So there you go. So if you live within that green or yellow footprint here in Sydney, you can actually access the network through my gateway. So if you, uh, there's, there's two handy ways of uh, being able to access the network there. Build your own gateway or access someone else's gateway and, uh, and use what they have already uh, obviously built to access the network. Now, of course, if you do have any questions, you can get into contact with me. Just hit the contact button up here and use the contact me form. Um, very easy to get in contact with me. Or feel free to leave a comment in the, uh, in the video comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, look forward to speaking to you on the VK Tetra Network.